Turning to our top story now, Libya's foreign minister has arrived in London with the British government saying he's no longer willing to work for Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. Meanwhile, unconfirmed media reports say the U.S. President Barack Obama has authorized covert support to help the rebels in Libya who have been retreating from a string of towns in recent days. The British Foreign Office said the Libyan Foreign Minister Musa Kusa arrived in London on Wednesday and said he's quitting the Libyan government. Kusa has been questioned by British officials who say he arrived on his own free will. Kusa was appointed Foreign Minister in 2009 and had previously played a pivotal role in successfully getting international sanctions lifted on Libya in 2004. His arrival in Britain came not long after the UK expelled five Libyan diplomats from the country for allegedly in intimidating protesters in London. Tripoli, however, denied a defection and said Kusa is on a diplomatic mission. Meanwhile, France and the US say they are sending envoys to the Libyan rebel stronghold Benghazi to meet the opposition council that's been set up there. The move came following an international conference in London which agreed to provide leadership to the international effort to enforce the UN-mandated no-fly zone. On the battlefield itself, the government forces appear to be making big gains. They managed to recapture a strategic oil town, Ras Lanouf, and closed on another major eastern city on Wednesday, reversing the gains the rebels had made since international airstrikes began. Rebel leaders have called for more help, saying they're lacking adequate weapons. They may receive assistance from the US. As reports say, the US President, Barack Obama, has signed a secret order authorizing the CIA to conduct covert operations to support the rebels. The CIA and the White House have both declined to comment. But earlier this week, Obama said he wouldn't rule out providing arms to the rebels.